In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the Chessbase 11 database window. The Chessbase 11 database window is really the control center and it's also the start screen of Chessbase. From this screen, you install, access, and manage your databases. So you really should study closely the options which are available to you from this control center so that you can operate the program smoothly and rapidly. This screen is the main screen of Chessbase, which always appears when you start the program. So here you can open, browse and generally look after the databases. On the left you'll find the folder window. Clicking on the plus symbol reveals the contents of the drive directory. If you click on the drive or directory itself, itself, the databases it contains are shown in the window to the right. Now, every Windows user really ought to be familiar with this basic principle. One click on an entry in the tree structure shows in the right-hand pane the contents of any object you've chosen. The right-hand pane contains the game databases which have been saved along with whichever symbol has been attributed to each of them. If you highlight one of these database symbols, then in the bottom pane you immediately see a list of games which have been stored in the database you've selected. Double-clicking a database symbol lists its contents in a new full window. You can load a game directly onto the board simply by double-clicking it. Now, tree structure. There is a heading called My Databases. So think of this as your personal storage space. This contains links to the most important and particularly frequently accessed databases. There's a wealth of options here on the ribbon. We looked at the ones in the Home tab in previous show, so let's look at the Report tab. Opening reference, you can see here, such as the openings in reference mode on this database. You can annotate the games of the database, or create a new database which merges the games by similar openings. And this is a great function. It scans the database for games which are in your repertoire database and generates a report. Under the Maintenance tab, we have even more commands. An important one that we'll look at later is backing up the database. You can see the properties from here. You can create and delete a search booster, rename files, delete the annotations from the games of the database, and delete the files completely. When you delete games, you mark them as deleted, and then this removes them completely. You can check the integrity of the database which is important sometimes if files get corrupted on your hard drive. Find double games or doubled entries so if the same game appears twice in a database this function will find them. Sort the database chronologically by tournaments or improve the tournament spelling and data. Here you can download the week in chess a free weekly database giving you some of the latest games available. Cannibalize extracts games which are not yet in the reference database and then register file types means that you can automatically launch them in a Windows folder for use in Chessbase 11. The final tab is the View tab. Here's an access, an access to the different panes, so the database preview pane, which we can see down here, the folder pane, and the status bar. Unchecking any of these boxes removes the corresponding window. 
This changes the view in the database window. So you can tile the symbols as they are now, put them into details which gives you more information such as the path of the database where they're stored, symbols or small symbols if you have a lot of databases. You can also access the properties of each database by right clicking. So instead of clicking the left mouse button, click the right one. This brings up a drop down menu. You can do many of the, the same functions you could use in earlier versions of Chessbase and also functions that are accessible through the ribbon are accessed through this menu. Under tools you can see there's a whole host of options here. And finally going down to properties this is where you can allocate the diff icon for each of your databases. So in this case my mega database 2010 which is my reference database as you can see here with the check has the icon for a reference here. So there you go, that's a bit more detail on the database window in Chessbase 11.